The Cairo talks follow a summit between Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and Sudan's Omar al-Bashir in Addis Ababa last week. Sudan had summoned its ambassador last December from Cairo over a series of conflicts with Egypt. But the joint press conference on Thursday has struck a different chord. We have to move forward with a positive spirit, which is present within the two leaders and the strong ties between both nations, apparent in the continuous links between the two peoples. This gives a clear message that we are both one. We agreed to meet on a regular basis in short-term periods, beside meetings of the other committees. But our committee aims at immediately clearing any misunderstanding or conflicts that could arise. The two foreign ministers say they have agreed on a mechanism to overcome these challenges. We both agreed on continuous talks with a joint mechanism for political and security consultations that will include the two countries' heads of intelligence services as well. It aims to strengthen political and military coordination on files of mutual concern. The existence of such strategic uh, uh, mechanism is important for neighbors that they have uh, a lot of uh, ties and uh, they have uh, crossed through uh, a, a period of tension and a lot of questions to be answered and it is important to uh, give uh, the officials in both ends the right to discuss and to further uh, see how can they uh, uh, confront the challenges and move forward with their relations. The foreign ministers also discussed promoting cooperation in trade and investments. They announced that the next presidential summit will take place in Khartoum this year. Egypt uh, relations with Sudan uh, is quite mature, uh, deep rooted in history, and uh, we can uh, confront together uh, any kind of uh, problems. We can differ Egypt and Sudan, but our differences should remain within the border of the Nile Valley. 2017 has not been a good year in their relationship. However, Egypt and Sudan have shown strong signs that they are willing to restore their ties and bridge their differences going forward. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.